Hello, my name is Kane Munro, and today I'm talking business and life advice in song lyrics, and today, personal finance. But what are today's lyrics? Now, I don't delve into personal finance as much, and, but my previous advice from the lyrics last week was discussing financial freedom, which to me does not mean a massive house or two new cars or a yearly overseas holiday just to post those photos on social media so everyone can see them. That's all BS as far as I'm concerned. But financial freedom and financial independence is simply the ability to choose to do what you want. That becomes a lot harder if you're saddled with debts and loans or credit card issues to pay for all that status symbol stuff. Now to me, real financial freedom comes at the moment that the money you earn from your investments actually pays for your expenses. That's when you can actually choose what you do and who you work for or if you work when you hit that tipping point, the choice to work or not to work is yours, and you're actually in control of how you spend your time and your life. So how do you know when you've hit that tipping point, when you've reached financial freedom? Now, the first step is to work out your expenses, and that is one thing that is gonna vary and very widely for everyone. For instance, you may have an expensive shoe habit or a Fabergé egg habit, and that's a Simpsons reference uh, for anyone out there, or an Uber Eats habit, or you may just not be able to live or live well without your uh, double shot almond milk latte every morning from the local cafe, which would actually run up to a $2,000 expense basically over the course of a year. Now, personally, I just get a coffee machine at home and deal with it. Uh, and that's not being all judged, it's really not. It's simply illustrating that everyone's expenses are different. We all like to spend money on different things. Now, once you have your annual expenses, and I, I mean all of them, then basically add, it, add 10%, as guaranteed you've missed some of them. After adding them all up, you can then use the 4% rule, the 4% rule to assist your financial freedom calculation, which is really grade five math. Let's say after working out all your expenses, you find you have annual expenses of $50,000. By using the 4% rule, you need to have saved and invested at least $1.25 million. You can also use the very same 4% rule to work out how much of your expenses your, your investments could potentially cover. In this scenario, you add up all of your investments and apply 4% of that total. In subsequent years, you would then maybe adjust the dollar amount you withdraw or notionally withdraw to account for inflation, which is really important at the moment. For example, let's say your savings total $1 million. And if they do, go you. You withdraw 40,000 in your first year. If the cost of living rises 5% that year, you know, hello inflation, you'd give yourself a 5% raise the following year, withdrawing $42,000 and so on. By following this formula, you should actually have a very high probability of not outliving your money over 30 years, according to the rule. So you have enough money for at least 30 years. The theory being that you should be able to achieve an investment return that will also cover the majority of the yearly withdrawals, potentially. Now the math of the 4% rule is flexible and you should definitely, definitely, definitely adjust your planning based on your needs and see a financial planner uh, as, and adjust it to your comfort levels and the economy. This last point is particularly important as arguably the most problematic assumption on the 4% rule with the 4% rule is that this model is run using historical returns. And this could be a problem for investors in 2022 as valuation levels and yields may make it difficult to match historic returns. Now, that all said, it can still be used as a starting point and a basic guideline to help you plan your financial freedom. And it's something that I, I have actively uh, been doing myself for at least the last 10 plus years and continue to use today. But do see a financial planner before doing anything financially. But that's all for this week. I'll be back next week with more advice from Song Lyrics. Until then, stay safe, stay well, and plan for your future. After all, it is your future.